Hello. Hi everyone. So today my mom is going to show you how to make pumpkin tikari or stew pumpkin. And it is a collaboration video with Matthew's Guyanese Cooking. So I'll share all his links in the description box below. So make sure you go check out his channel and check out his recipe for stew pumpkin or for pumpkin tikari. So he will be sharing his version, which is the Guyanese way. And my mom is going to be sharing the Trini way to make pumpkin tikari. So I hope you all enjoy the video. And go to the flavors. <laughs> So, mom has the oil heating up and she's gonna add some onions, hot peppers, pimentos, and garlic. So, this is the chunky in process. So it's just like if you're chunky in any pot, so you're going to leave this to fry for about a minute and a half to two minutes. So she's adding the cut pumpkin in there. So this pumpkin was actually cut up last night and put into the freezer. So that's why you see it's looking very bright orange. So you just cut it in slices. Now she's adding some salt. So she has her heat on medium high right now and she's going to lower it in a little bit. And she's adding just a little pinch of sugar. Because pumpkin can be a little tart sometimes, so you want to add a little sweetness. And sometimes if you're lucky, you'll get a nice sweet pumpkin. So I'm going to cover it now. Load on the heat and cover it. Okay. So she lowered the heat and covered it. And then we'll just leave it there for a few minutes and check it back to make sure it's not sticking. Well, you take the two loy and you put one with flour and one with oil and you stick them together and seal them. Okay. And so leave them to soak. Tell them what type of uh, Two in one, dosti. Two it's in one, like, dosti. It's kind of like a lazy paratha. <laughs> <laughs> So this dough is the same dough you use to make paratha or basap shot roti. You have one stray. Yes, yeah, so I could add some flour to here and add some oil to this tray. So you're gonna make a three in add one. Add it to oh. this one and make a tray. Okay, so I'm taking the cover off now to see how it looks. And this is mm. how it's simmered down too. It's mash up and deep. Yeah. So we take the spoon and we kind of help it along. Okay. And when you freeze it, I find that it gets, um, it cooks quicker when yeah. you freeze it. For some reason, yeah. Yeah. As it defrosts, it tends to get mushy, so it mushes up in the pot. So we're going to cover it back and leave it for it to simmer some more. Okay, so it's about 10 minutes after. So, so this is what it looks like. It's simmering some more. And yeah, it still use. has a little bit of liquid. Okay. So we we'll cover it in about another 10 minutes. So at this point, if you want to add some jira, you could yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle some. some now, yeah. yeah, but my mom does not jira. I like to taste the pumpkin. I don't like to taste anything else. Okay, well I like jira in mine. Well, we could put jira today. No, no, no. 
this is how you do it, I just say, and if some people want that, it's... Yeah, they could ask. Yeah. Everybody has their own preference. So you get it nice and smooth now, so it should be ready to take down a little bit. And not all pumpkin will take the same amount of time to cook. Some cook faster and some depends, I guess, on... The maturity. How, yeah, how ripe it is or how mature it is. Yeah. Okay. So I just take the cover off so you can see it has simmer some more and it's ready to take out, to take out the pot. So we're going to do that right now. Blend them in into the pumpkin so the pumpkin will get a nice flavor. And then you cover it so it could stay warm and nice. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing my mom's recipe for pumpkin to curry. I make mine the same way, it's just I add a little bit of jeera while it's cooking. So that's the only difference. But make sure you go check out Matthew's channel as well as his video for pumpkin to curry or stew pumpkin. Make sure you go check out his channel and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Go like his videos, comment, show him some love. He's an amazing cook and if you want to learn how to create Guyanese dishes, his channel is the one to watch. So make sure you go check him out and tell him I sent you. So until I see you all in my next video, bye.